Um, so yesterday, this took over the internet. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler has made a little change, Leroy. He has decided that he wants to have more hair. And he's got a new look now. And it's something. Uh, have you seen this, Leroy? Have you seen the look that Jimmy Butler is now going with? Because this, uh, have. We, have, we have seen Jimmy Butler in the past. He is, uh, what, what would you call, what was the OG, what would you call that from Jimmy Butler? People have, that, uh, that, that look that he's got the there. The OG, the kid in play? Yeah, he's got the, some would call it the Bart the Simpson. Top. Yeah, uh, the high the top. Bart like, he's got yeah. that. That's, that's OG Jimmy Butler. This year, he basically just went with the braids all season. He just yeah. went, you know. You know, with the uh, the the braids looking, he was awesome. So he may be coming into this season. You know, people are saying you know the Heat are running it back. You got the same Miami Heat. No, no, we may have ourselves a new and improved Jimmy Butler with very long hair. Very long wow. hair. Very long. Very long. Very long. Who's that with the leg? That's that's his uh, his trainer, Chris Brickley. So Jimmy is now uh he's got the long dreads. He is flipping the hair back and forth now. He's got it all going on now, Leroy. He's uh he's got how many he's... different hairdos he got? He just got that hair. I don't know, man. He's just he's just living his Jimmy Butler life. Okay. He's got it flowing. He's got he's got it up. He's got it in the wind. The same story, he's got man. it balling out on the court. Should be the Jamal Lux's daughter. Leroy, what do you call that look? Intangible. <laughs> fair, fair point. Um, look, here's what I say. You score 47 in Boston. Uh, you you do whatever you want. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, you know, this kind of has the feel when uh when D Wade had that short suit. Oh, I thought you were going to say when D Wade went uh, D Braid. Remember yeah. when he had his little braid uh, stint? Because yeah. D Wade was always like pretty much the 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 uh, the, the fade. That was it. Yeah. And then and those braids were holding off for dear life. Man. He was he had the braid. Remember when Tyler Hero uh, tried the braids for like a for like a summer? I gotta. See oh this. my! God. You have not yes. seen Tyler Hero with the braids? I have to see this. Oh man, I think it was I think it was fresh out of the I bubble. I do. I do remember. Didn't this, he show up wearing a Canes outfit at one time? Yeah, he did actually. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's Miami yep. Hurricane sweater, and he has a braids. You know, they don't necessarily look too bad. He'd already have a max seal if he kept that going. That's true. To be honest with that you, that was his problem. Why did he get rid of it? I don't know. I mean, wasn't I mean, his his ankle? What's that? Didn't he hurt his hammy or his ankle or something? His groin. His groin. His groin. Right. Yeah. But it okay. probably wouldn't have gotten hurt if he would have just kept the braids. Really? I don't know. That's where no. we're going with that. I don't know. Does Jimmy Butler like you think he's just bored? Like he is a guy that takes up a lot of interests: tennis, soccer, coffee. Yeah. They do they dove into ice cream this off season. Which, by the way, I got a question on the ice cream. How do you do? The, you can like order it to get delivered to you. How does ice cream get delivered? I that is a good question, and I believe they have, I, a, they they have a box. I'm pretty sure I saw the price on that being sixty dollars for that ice cream. <sighs> okay, for what? Jimmy Butler's ice cream. What kind of ice cream? Is it a tub or something? I think no. It looked like a pint. Because remember, yeah. he charges a lot for Big Face Coffee. It was twenty dollars a cup. Oh, it's a limited edition. Oh, he's joined forces with hey, Van listen. Lewin. You remember when that Tyler Hero cereal was limited edition? Oh, then they yeah. were selling it for like four cents at at Win Dixie. Okay, mm-hmm. well I have one at the original price. <laughs> wait, wait, you <laughs> yeah, bought one of these? I did. I did. How much did you spend? Well, it was uh, my brother's money, so that's why I was a little right. bit more. I bought it for my nephews, so I don't even remember how much it was, but it definitely wasn't four cents. You? Got, how old are your nephews? Uh, so I have quite a bit of nephews. The ones that I was living with previously are twelve. Whoa! 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 Might- whoa, whoa. Yeah. Say that last line again. He's got the ones that I, I was living with. Yeah, my I was living in Miami Lakes with my brother, and he had two kids, so they were there. Well, which ones were you buying the ice cream for? How old are they? Twelve and seven. Oh, because I was about to say, if they were seven, you could just like, I gotta lie. You, you could have just put a Jimmy Butler sticker on some Hagen Dazs and yeah. lied. I will say though, those uh, they were big. You know, they had like I don't know different shapes and stuff. They were big. It seemed like I got my bang for my buck. How much they, was it? 
I don't know. Honestly, I'd say how much was it, Marcos? Seven, seven ninety nine minimum. The cereal? Yeah, minimum. I think the, it may have been more of them. Oh, you're talking about the Tyler Hero cereal? Yeah. yeah I yeah. thought you said you bought the Jimmy Butler ice cream. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> the ice cream. I was looking at it again. I think it was around sixty bucks. I have someone sent me the uh, the shipping, but I still don't know. Like I said, how would you ship that? How's it that comes in either dry ice. They either ship it in dry ice. Yeah. Or um. They refrigerate it. Like the I, cereal by my house was hey, $2.99. I would imagine that you can ship ice cream in it's 63. Still so it is sixty dollars and shipping is three dollars and sixty cents. I on. would imagine I would imagine this. If you can <laughs> if you can send live seafood to somebody's house. Oh, why would you because when that? I do I do uh periodically I do a crawfish boil mm. and I have the crawfish and the blue crab ship from Louisiana. And they come live. There's critters everywhere because you got to oh you, you put them in you put them in you put them in coolers, and you put water in there and then a little bit of salt, and they take a bath. They clean I'm themselves. Look, I'm looking at the Van Luen ice cream yeah. right now that yeah. partners with Big Face Coffee, and I'm seeing it's twelve dollars, wow. which seems reasonable. Okay, so what's so $12 maybe twelve dollars for ice cream? Well, at least for a Jimmy Butler limited edition ice cream, twelve dollars. All right, and now is shipping wait, like wait, wait. is shipping forty dollars? Hold on. Hold oh, on. So what does the ice cream, cream consist of? It looks like a, a pint of ice cream. It looks no, like a pint what of kind of ice cream. Vanilla? Uh, it's coffee ice cream. A drop oh, is of it Jimmy Butler? Yeah, it's July. coffee ice cream. Which I, I actually, you, you like yourself some coffee ice cream? I know you don't like ice cream, Leroy, but uh, Jay Fig, you like some coffee ice cream? I think I've had it a couple times, and I do enjoy it. Yes. I do enjoy it too. I like I it more than I like too. coffee. I know that's strange, but uh, but it is out of stock. I mean, they sold out of these Jimmy Butler. I mean, this guy, you know, everybody just keeps rewarding this behavior. His overpriced food. Yeah, I don't know. I still want to try the coffee though. Have you tried the Big Face coffee? I have not tried the Big Face coffee. No. I know he did a pop up shot like right down the road one time. Oh, nice! But it was—I think it was either on vacation or I don't oh, know. But I, but guy's always on vacation. I don't know. I, I saw him on too. He's like, yeah, pull up Miami, and uh, it was—I couldn't go. <laughs> and the design so district, yeah. yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's not too far from here. Seems like somewhere where uh, Dread Jimmy. Do we call him like? Do we have a new name for this kind of Jimmy Butler? Is this like a new form? Is this Super Saiyan Jimmy? I don't know. Actually, what I want Tobin to mention. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I just checked this out. So if you go to Van Luen, yeah, the actual ice cream brand, yeah, Big Face Coffee Ice Cream on their website, twelve dollars. Yes. I go to Jimmy Butler's website. <laughs> oh God. Big face brand. Yeah. Sixty dollars. Oh my god. What the hell? What are you doing, Jimmy? Why is he marking it up on his it's the same thing? <laughs> he goes, Oh, so here's what happened. Okay. Hold on one second. Jimmy Butler is running a Ponzi scheme with this Van Louis. <laughs> because what he did was he clearly very much bought all of their ice cream yeah. to put on his website Ooh. and is now selling for quintuple the price. Wow. Business, Man. you make 40 million dollars a year, Jimmy. Why are you selling 60 dollar yeah. ice cream? Because I can. So, are we all gonna mm. chip in for this? Yeah, ice cream? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, gonna are we gonna have an ice cream party, Leroy? Yeah, sure. No, hey, don't look at me. I don't even like ice cream. Can I, uh, hey, Galen, can I use the company card and get me? Uh, can I use my Odyssey points and yeah. buy some Jimmy Butler ice cream? Oh, finally, you have okay. to be working here for another 20 years. Yeah. Uh, it says uh, one note, one order comes with five pints. So okay. you're not just getting right, one right. pint. That's nah, a little more fair. Yeah, so yeah. now it's, it's $12, you idiots. Apologize to Jimmy. Oh, I apologize. Apologize. Jimmy. You scared me, though, with that Very price tag. One. And and Marcos, this is your yeah. fault. Because mm, yeah. you ain't tell read you the details. You just well, said $60. The, but Leroy, yeah. when you go to the website, when you yeah. go to the website and you scroll, like you hover over the price, like just one pint, it says sixty dollars. So it makes you think that like you have well, to click on it. Did That's you see the top order. though? What? What? What's did you the see the top? It says shipping minimum is five pints. Yeah. So you yeah. Well, so they're forcing you to buy. They're five. forcing you to buy uh, a five pack. Yeah, but that's why it says sixty dollars for one. Because you have billion. to buy five. Twelve dollars is a lot for ice cream. Like, how much does a pint of Hagen Dazs cost? Half that? Yeah, for sure. A Ben and Jerry's is like five thirty six with tax, depending on. See, what I think I that's too much for ice cream. Six dollars? Oh, yeah. hey, 
Yeah, six dollars is a lot for ice cream. Really? Guys? Especially, it's not. It's I don't, not. I'm not. It's I'm not, not a, like a big one. It's the little pints. I'm not ice cream loyal. Like when I go to the Publix, because there's always a bogo on ice cream. Oh, yeah. Yeah. always a bogo. So oh, whoever's got the I bogo, the that's bogos. what I'm going with. <laughs> Doesn't see, matter. See, I think people that that eat Ben and Jerry's ice cream are selfish. Wow. Okay. Because wow. right. that's that's a solo that's solo size. Ah, yeah. I feel you like can't share. So you go and get ice cream. You come home. You eat ice cream. How you know? I would not wouldn't like a taste of your ice cream. You don't you like ice a, cream. If you want a big face coffee, Dad Hat, fifty dollars. Okay, but they come you know, in a pack of five. No, I don't think okay. so. Okay. You know, my 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 daughter gets um, Ben and Jerry's. She gets um, the one without dairy, right? But when that ice cream is done, it's like an ice cube. Like milk yeah, keeps exactly. it soft. Dairy Someone keeps it soft. Icy. Is there any that already comes? Like he sells just the coffee beans. Like, is there any that already just have it ground up? I don't like grinding coffee beans. Yeah, or is that is that is that make me a Wait, bad barista? You grind you grind How your own coffee that? beans? How do I no, I don't. Like when I'm look on his, I'm looking at his coffee website, and if you want the coffee, you can only yeah. buy the beans. Can I do that here? I think so. Yeah, yeah they they just pour beans in the top part. Mm. Ooh. Dude, I, says, hold on. First of all. I only share my empanadas with a select few in the building. I'm yeah. definitely not gonna go buy coffee and have randos walking up to the the nah. thing. I'm gonna walk up there with five beans, just me and Tobin with a cup. <laughs> just drop our beans in, take our cup and go. <laughs> Some bean, bring, bring your own coffee. Yeah, exactly. It's coming. It's coming. Jenny G Next says time they gotta make a cut. Jenny G says, "Who the hell in the who has room in their freezer for five pints of ice?" <laughs> that's <laughs> not Jenny G. That's that's Indian Rasta. Oh, yeah. he is. Yes. Yeah, he's using why, his. He's using his girl's phone because yeah. his phone broke. broke. <laughs> Sorry, dude, Ross, that's Why are funny. you laughing at that? <laughs> because I don't. I didn't know it. You first of all, I think it's uh, adorable that you guys are like, "Hey, you, you're not in on it." Indian Ross has been telling us all day. Yeah, it's because we've been on the chats. I have not been on the chat today. I apologize. Too busy Game Boy also makes a good point, though. Cereal bogos. I'm not cereal loyal either. I will hop around on cereal. I just skip breakfast all together, to be honest. Yeah. Right. By the time I get out of here, I'm like, how long till lunch? Well, not me. Yeah, I know. I'm actually sure surprised know. we haven't seen you today. That's no, okay. because uh, my wife made me a smoothie. Mm. Oh, man. But so she's it, like, it yeah, that's all you're getting. She like, was helping that, us today. That's like smooth. fluids, though. That she's don't smooth. go down the same. That's good, good old right. chewing. Yeah. Right, like me some hot food. Is she gonna get you go on one of those juice diets again? No, Ooh. no, no. Look, it, we got some new rules up in this house. Oh man, it, you it, don't be suggesting what others should do unless you are too partaking in this. Uh, BBR guy says, Are Jimmy's dreads real or extensions? I mean, extensions, he ain't never had hair that long. I mean, they're really there. <laughs> Right, he just he had a picture three days ago with a high top fade. Now he got dreads to his ass. What, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Did you guys see that uh, Rich Paul may be up to his old tricks again? Uh oh. So uh, Colin Sexton, uh, guard for the Cleveland Cavaliers, he had, a, he had some some pretty good seasons yeah. uh, when he jumped into the league, you know, averaging yeah. like over twenty a game. But the Cavaliers stunk, so he got hurt last year, <laughs> and Darius Garland like really blew up for them. Like he was amazing, all star. Um, then he got he got a huge contract. So Colin Sexton's coming back this year, and they apparently like offered him something something to the effect of like three years, like forty million. And Colin Sexton is uh, none too pleased by that. They're seeing it as a slap in the face. And so Rich Paul may be having him sit out the year. Wow. Yep. That's the only option? Like, you can't force a trade? Well, at least I, at least sit him out until they trade him. Yeah. They're not going to let him play. Yeah. You know? Because I just – I mentioned how, this. how would you feel about that? He was rumored in, he was in some heat rumors, uh, I think, before last year. There was some talk that right. he were interested in Colin Sexton. So – but that was before they got Kyle Lowry. Um, you know, I don't know – Colin Sexton's really good. He's talented. Is he that much better than Tyler Hero? I don't even think he is better than Tyler Hero. So the thing is, the, the only thing that'll separate any player that you bring in 
from Tyler Hero's defense. Yeah. Well, and the other thing that's interesting with the Cavs is like they were decent last year. They got off to a really good start and kind of tapered off. Well, um, cuz uh didn't Jared Jared uh Allen get hurt? They traded for Jared Allen in the middle of the year and then and he, he got, got hurt, hurt cuz he um, was he was he was doing his thing uh early. They kind of got like they got their young guys. Like they got uh, they got Sexton and then they got they just drafted Devin Mobley who everybody loves. He's really good defensively and and think everybody thinks he's going to get even better offensively. So, I don't know. That's an interesting one. But it, but here's the thing. Like, I don't know if Colin Sexton's got, like, the Ben Simmons – I hate to say Ben Simmons chops because I think he's a bum. But, like, Ben Simmons, like, everybody always like, oh, Ben Simmons is amazing when he plays basketball. He's healthy. Blah, 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 blah. So, you know, you still convince some dummy team to go trade for him. That's – and at the time also had his, his deal in place. This is an interesting situation if your agent tells you, hey, just don't go play. I don't know. I feel like if you're Colin Sexton, you I still mean, don't play basketball. I mean, the only thing that's different between that and what other players have done is this is more in the open. Like, yeah, but, you, but you, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but the difference with it being like, even with Ben Simmons getting fined as much as he did, like once he starts playing basketball again, he does have a guaranteed contract. Like Colin Sexton doesn't have the safety net that Ben Simmons does, so I think it's an interesting thing if Rich Paul has his player go do that before he's locked into anything. I mean, is it he's kind of doing the football thing where you hold out until you, they do take care of you, right? But like, who's but, gonna but go take the it? problem? The problem that I have with basketball is that you're doing this with a guaranteed contract, right? Because football is not guaranteed, you have to go to these extremes to get your extension. But basketball is different in that he could roll out of bed and make $15 million a year. Right. That doesn't happen in football. Right? If your team doesn't it pay It does feel you, that way now, doesn't it? It feels like if you lace up your sneakers, you're going to get $15 million a year these days. If, if you average at some point 20 points. I don't even think you have to average 20 points these days to make 15 million. The money is crazy in the NBA. The only thing you don't want to be is a center. That's it. Like you don't want to be like a backup center. Then you make a minimum. They treat them like running backs. I mean, that's not the way we treated Hassan. No, that's not the, but like Hassan was like Hassan and Mozgov. I feel like they were like the last old school centers who, uh, who got, I guess Gobert did, but at least Gobert won Depoy three times. Go bear, and now we're looking at the 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 latest um, from Phoenix. Aiden, uh, DeAndre Aiden, which I mean, it's a it's a weird thing that they handled him the way they did, right? Because they could have been in a better place, and the team could have been in a better place mm-hmm. if they had just maxed him out. But yeah, instead, well, I mean, listen, he they, went they, somewhere else. Basically, they told you, we don't think you're worth that much and we're not going to pay you. Somebody else maxes him out, and then you match it. So yeah, you well, went through all that. You could have just maxed him and kept everybody in their happy place. The biggest thing that – I mean, the biggest thing it cost him was the shot at Durant. I mean, like, you can't know that Kevin Durant's going to ask for a trade. But now the thing is he's locked up there. Like, he can't get traded. But but here's the deal. If, if, if they, if they had taken last- care of it, Right, which is something the Heat always do. The Heat always tend to give contracts early because Mm -hmm. even if it doesn't work out and they gave you the money, you can be traded when it gets to that point. If you wait and now you're in a situation like that, now we can't be traded and now you're out of the, the, the KD sweepstakes. Right, and that's an interesting thing with the Heat because they're Remember we were in this spot. Remember we talked about this with Bam, right? Like, would the Heat give Bam his money, or are they going to say, "Hey, we do this so they no, can get a crack at Giannis"? That's what you suggested. That's what just, you suggested. I was the only one to suggest it. Don't no, make it seem you like I was asked, the only you guy. said Bam should wait. I didn't say should. I said you would. Did. I said would. I did not say should. I said would. Wouldn't ever suggest that somebody should. I said, Woody. Obviously, the answer was no. no. But the thing that was interesting with that was Riley said out of the gate they were going to take care of Bam right out of the finals because they were right out of the finals. Right. And 
you know, he signed him. And by the way, the other side note was Giannis and Bam are the same agent. Um, with Tyler, this is an interesting spot because I don't know if Tyler's going to get the max, but he's going to get over $100 million on this extension. And Riley and hasn't said as much. Riley didn't. Yeah, in fairness, he wasn't asked about the contract, but still, they very much are like, Bam was, I think the contract was done already. It was done as soon as they were eligible to give it to him. So with Tyler, like, are they going to have a situation where he's going to get disgruntled or are they going to just say, look, mm, is what it is, you know, because we all know they're looking at Durant, right? This isn't you, a pipe you know to what... be honest. Like, it's actually out there. Like, the, the possibility of them trading for Kevin Durant is a possibility. And, Ty, and the, the, you know, Tyler would know that he would be part of that deal. So does that piss him off? Does it matter? Like, it, it, is it understandable? You're like, dude, we're going after Kevin Durant. Like, you're going to hold that against us? I don't know. Here's, here's the issue. Um, the Heat almost have to wait so that if he's part of any deal, they can trade him. Oh, that's exactly what they can't, one, they can't once, do it. Once they realize or once they come to the conclusion of this is – you know, this is the best we're going to do for right now. Mm -hmm. Then you sign the contract as soon as possible. Yeah, but here's the thing. They're really not at risk for losing them because at the worst, they could be in a DeAndre Ayton situation where, okay, he's a restricted free agent the next year and they can match. The The risk is but you, you piss Tyler you off a little. Those, do you want to play those games with your players? There's but certain players you don't want to play that game with. There like I get, games. I get this part of it. I get this part of it that if he's going to be included in any trade uh, talks, no. you can't sign him. Right, but that's okay. what I'm saying. Like, it, for the Heat standpoint, right? It's not questioning Tyler as a player, but how often do you actually get in the game for a guy like Kevin Durant? Right. So yeah, but how about you, this? So, for example, so for example, if if KD does come back, if he starts the year with Brooklyn. Let's say things go bad in Brooklyn. Like you're, their, their, their hope is obviously, oh, things go good. But what if they go bad? What if what if they're not off to a good start and then things get even worse with them? Like having How Tyler long does he have to have the contract? Him. How long does Tyler have to have a contract? A year before they could trade him or six months or no, I think I think I think uh I think it's a year. I think it's okay. a year. All right. So so that that takes me out of my second point of it. But yeah, like you you as as an organization, you have to acknowledge that part of it, right? And I know it doesn't feel right to, you know, and, and you know, guys want their money right away. But the fact of the matter is, is that I'm always going to be a little sympathetic to organizations in the NBA because all the money is guaranteed, mm -hmm. right? Like, I'm not – why – if I'm guaranteeing all of your money – why am I in such a rush to extend you? But it's the same thing. But that's what I'm saying. When we went to, back to the BAM thing with Giannis, you were like, and uh, you don't want to mess with BAM because nope. you know he's going to be a cornerstone. And, you know, you you just, you think you might have a shot at Giannis. You don't know. Right. right. With don't KD, yet with KD, he wants out. Phoenix is out. And the only other preferred destination is you. So yeah, you're gonna yep, piss Tyler Hero off, but the this circumstances KD thing are different, though. It the, is the different. The Bam, the Bam circumstance and the Tyler circumstance are different, and 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 I'm more than sure that the Heat are thinking one or two things. If Tyler's gonna continue coming off the bench, no matter how many points he scores, we can replace that. If Tyler becomes a starter, now we have a different situation. So I think that's some of the things they probably talk about behind closed doors is like, okay, what do we think he's going to be? What, you know, uh, right. what is he going to be? And, and how are we going to be able to benefit from this? Because the other thing is, is that you have to limit how many non-defensive scores you have on your team. Especially no, down here. Right. Like Bam, when Bam came off that season, same age, 23, going into the extension year, um, 
you first of all, he's the best player in the Eastern Conference Finals that year. Uh, got hurt in the finals. I mean, may have gotten mm-hmm. hurt on that block with Jason Tatum, but uh, mm-hmm. but but got doubly hurt when he wasn't able to even do a push up during the finals. Um, right. but you knew you had a guy like that guy is going to be able to play on the floor in every playoff game. Mm-hmm. No, no questions. With Tyler, you don't know. With Tyler, there's still questions, but he's still very young. Is is but but there's not there's not like there, there's not that many questions for me. Like you see what he can do, and now it all it it becomes a a situation where it's more consistent, and and it's yeah. but you have an idea of what he can and can't do. 